Hello and welcome Da Jia Hao here from the Langham Hotel in Guangzhou and today I'll be traveling to London on China Southern 787 Dreamliner in business class. So it is their uh, latest aircraft that joined the fleet and it's um, a very interesting product and I'm very curious to showcase it to you because China Southern is such a big airline. I think it's the biggest, uh, the second biggest airline in the world in terms of fleet size. So um, let's go. I mean, I flew their Airbus 330 and their Airbus 380 and it's always been a very interesting experience. And um, now let's see what their 787 Dreamliner is like. So let's go to the gate. Welcome to my latest trip review and this time I started in Guangzhou at their brand new terminal which just opened recently. It's beautiful, it's spacious and it's such an improvement to the old airport. And this is it, this is the inside of the 787 Dreamliner of China Southern and this is their economy class and as you can see it's a little bit more outdated in comparison to more um, recent Dreamliners. Um, however, every seat features a personal entertainment screen um, headphones, of course, a USB slot, and a blanket and a pillow. And also let me give you a short tour of their business class, which comes in a 222 configuration, and all seats go completely flat. And this is China Southern's first class with four seats in total. And it's very rare these days that you have a first class on a 787 Dreamliner. The only other two airlines I know are British Airways and Etihad who feature a first class on a Dreamliner. But let me give you a quick tour of the first class seat. And as you can see here in this drawer, you have um, a pajama and amenity kit, as well as a lot of storage space, magazines, and uh, the safety card. You also get slippers and you also saw the screen in front of you, which I found was very small because you sit actually very far away from the screen. Um, you also have this universal power socket and a lot of storage space on your right where you can see there's a newspaper, um, the headphones and the remote control in the rear end of the seat um, and behind is where you plug in your noise cancelling headphones and you have an additional USB slot. Of course you have a reading light and the seat controls and I must say that the seat is very spacious, very comfortable, I had a very great sleep. Um, Overall, it feels like kind of a mix between a business and a first class. So prior takeoff, you get of course your hot towel, a welcome drink, a few biscuits and chocolate, and the crew would also take your order. All right, let's talk about the entertainment options on China Southern 787. And the first thing I need to tell you, there is no internet. Um, also the screen, as I said, was a little small and the variety of movies was actually pretty good. However, you can choose between 100 and 150 movies and documentaries, um, which is not too much, but it gets you to the flight. So let's talk about the amenity kit and this is where I was a little bit disappointed because considering that this was a first class flight it was actually exactly the same you were given in business class and comparing with my first class flight before where I got like really fancy amenity kits this was a little bit of a letdown. Mm -hmm. 
So I could also tell from the uh, menu that there was no difference between business cars and first cars dining. Um, however, I think the service was a bit more dedicated and faster. And um, the breakfast though was great. I could choose between a Chinese or Western breakfast and it was delicious, it was fresh. And as soon as I finished my uh, meal, the next course was already served. So this was brilliant. Since I was still jet lagged, I decided to have a bit of a sleep after my breakfast and I can tell you that the seat was extremely comfortable, so was the bedding, um, the blanket was really soft and the sleeping quality however was very 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 good. Let me also give you a quick tour of the first class bathroom and you had all those uh, amenities you want to see in a first class bathroom and the state of the bathroom was also very clean which is not always given on a Chinese carrier. So for all business and first class passengers, um, a few hours into the flight they offer afternoon tea service and as you can see they have a little cart where they offer cheesecake, cookies and other things. And if you still get hungry in between, there is always a cup of noodles. So two hours prior landing in London, um, the crew would start with the lunch slash dinner service and there as well you had a great choice. Um, also when it comes to the wine, um, I decided to have a nice uh, beef noodle soup, a very traditional Chinese dish, um, followed by um, a salad and the beef. So once again, I'll have to point out that China Southern has a great crew. They're all well trained and they're very hardworking. So as soon as I finished one dish, the next was already like served. And this is how it's supposed to be. And this is why I think China Southern does a really good job. So let me sum up my experience in China Southern 787 Dreamliner and the seat is definitely first class, it was spacious, it was very comfortable, um, I wish the screen could have been a little bigger and also the amenity kit was clearly not up to first class standard comparing it with other airlines. The service was great, outstanding, the crew was really hardworking, genuinely nice and they really um, looked after me 
really really well um overall it was a very pleasant product i definitely fly it again um however i wish they could improve those little details um otherwise i really enjoyed my china southern 787 dreamliner experience and please like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and thank you so much for watching see you soon